I've always had this dream of bringing Adel to our basement and tying him up and torturing him. This is going to add a lot of uh, vigor. Adel, we're going to have so much fun when I finally do that. <laughs> Our next book is Arab Cinema, History and Cultural Identity by Viola Shafik. This is specifically the third uh, edition of this book out from American University of Cairo Press in 2016. Um, would you like me to continue? No, sure. Uh, since it was first published in 1998, Viola Shafik's Arab Cinema has become an indispensable work for scholars of film and the contemporary Middle East. Combining detailed narrative history, economic, ideological, and aesthetic with thought-provoking analysis, Arab cinema provides a comprehensive overview of cinema in the Arab world, tracing the industry's development from colonial times to the present. It analyzes the ambiguous relationship with commercial Western cinema and the effect of Egyptian market dominance in the region. And so this is the basics of the, uh, the blurb of the book. <laughs> Nadia, did you see this? No, I missed it. What, what, you, what are you watching? That was pure genius. I was, I was muting my thing so I could yawn without it appearing. <laughs> we, we, we did this for yawn. you. Okay, it fine. wasn't even visible. It was an invisible yawn. Anyway, uh, okay, so the, the book has actually a... Uh, uh, not a lot of chapters, but lots of sub-chapters, lots of detail. Uh, the introduction, of course, addresses a theoretical um, uh, dimension. And then chapter one is on history of Arab cinema. Chapter two, artistic roots of Arab cinema. Uh, chapter three, cultural identity and genre. And genre. Uh, from the, and then chapter four, from the national to the transnational, question mark. And chapter five, 21st century Arab cinemas by country. Here you go, Adil. There's also like six or seven countries here. And then, uh, acknowledge, and then, of, then of course, the conclusion. Uh, Viola Shafi from uh, Egypt. Uh, I am familiar with uh, her uh, work. And we actually did, I actually did use her previous work uh, in part, like in, in smaller bits, not the book, in, uh, uh, in the classroom, uh, especially in a course on... Um, uh, text film and the Arab uprisings in which we actually go uh, a bit beyond uh, uh, the Arab uprisings and thanks to Hatem for pointing out uh, some of uh, her work that I use in my classroom. So we'll move now to um, Adil since you are sitting in Cairo it's very fitting. Any comments about Viola Shafi's book? Well, you know, this book is, again, it's, a, it's, a, it's an, a new edition of an old title that's been kind of refurbished and updated. But, uh, but the original volume, I mean, if I, if I do it, if my math is any good, is about 18 years ago. Um, it's, a, it's a fairly kind of substantial amount of time, but it also speaks to how important that volume was. It was quite indispensable at, at, at its time. Um, to a large extent, Viola Shafi, um, you know, you know, she doesn't stake a claim, but she begins to talk about Egyptian cinema uh, in a very sort of analytical way, and and really thinks about its its uh, its history, its background, where it's going, um, you know, its you know commercialization, uh, its art, you know, the the artistic kind of um, tendencies within it, how it you know how it compares to world cinema, and and there's a lot to be said about you know. Uh, the critique of capitalism and uh, and the representations of of various communities, whether it's like peasantry or fallahin or afandiya, just so many different constituents within Egyptian society. Um, the the shift from Egyptian cinema to Arab cinema is a fairly substantial leap, and I think that too is is quite ambitious. Um, I haven't read the parts of this volume that uh, that address Arab cinema specifically, but I'm curious how she was able to create that uh, that dialogue, or to really, or how one could think about Arab cinema as a as a you know. I mean, I, I can understand what Arabic language cinema means and signifies, but Arab cinema also has um, sort of a um, an underlying. Um, 
you know, suggestive intonation that speaks to identity, that speaks to common bonds, collective destinies, things of that kind. So I'm curious about that aspect. But again, this is a, a work that has existed prior and is been has been remodeled for a new readership. And I'm curious what that entails. But nevertheless, Viola Shafiq's contribution to understanding Arab cinema and more specifically Egyptian cinema is one that uh, that cannot be overstated. So I'm happy to to see where, where this is going. Thanks, Adil. N Nadia? Uh, I think the fact that this is um, uh, in its third printing uh, is, again, like Adel was saying, sort of testimony to the significance uh, that she's had on the field and that her text has had. Her The this expansion of it um, uh, is interesting in the sense that she's adding Iraq, Lebanon, Palestine, and the Gulf states. And, and so in that regard, it would be really interesting and perhaps helpful to read this new edition alongside even some of the texts that we just covered in this in this episode, like Nadia Yaoub's uh, book, uh, Natalie Khazal's book, um, you know, and several other texts. So this might be an interesting, it would be interesting to read it alongside it to both, for them to both sort of enhance some of what Viola Shafi is talking about and have her provide perhaps some uh, backdrop or landscaping that the other texts may not include. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.